What's going on? Okay, so I met I met this man, very sexy. Uh, Concierge. Sexy guy that uh, I'm not sure what culture you're from, but UK of yeah. some sort. And then <laughs> we got her. Will you marry? Yes. <laughs> she's the booze lady. Only oh. uh, she's a very attractive redhead. From she also has alcohol scotch with her. <laughs> you many many. And what, what did you say your reaction was to the uh, all the alcohol? And I had a bit of a stiffy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like this when he hasn't had a drink. Oh. That's to explain Sorry, to just a wee bit, because it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> and so, how come, aren't we on an island? You, you oh, are on an island. an island. How'd you get here? Magic. The, um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, magic. that explains a lot, okay? <laughs> so we had to cut so much bloody wood! <laughs> Bollocks! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, look, what? Look, look, for heaven's sake, I just want to go to the tent, go and have a bed, have a little nip of... Actually, uh, I think you're, you're whiskey. It looks yeah, like you've yeah. had a nipple too already. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You know, it's been a long day. I've only had two. I was like, ah! <laughs> well, you might have some yeah. more. I have a box with um, some surprises in it. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in Scotland now! Put the kilt on and flip her up! <laughs> we went into town and I thought I would get some supplies, which means scotch. And I got the scotch, uh, what was called, the, the rapid I almost died on today? Kind of. Oh, uh, can't do. <laughs> That's nope. it, that'll do. Yeah, uh, can't do. <laughs> and I did it. And I did it, and I was quite proud of myself. So I thought I'd buy the, the bottle of scotch in town, saying can't do, and I'll drink you. Ooh, bread as well. Yeah, we brought dinner too. Whoa! We've got and stew, stew in here. Oh, yum. And we've got whiskey. Oh, are you serious? And, and look, we've got a, a table. table. Yeah. <laughs> Mary needs a table. So we're doing it right here in Scotland Mary's now. A <laughs> we've got ourselves a table. With a, with a kind yeah. of almost Irish accent. <laughs> First of all, we've got some new spirit. Just thought it might be interesting to try. Look, yeah, I've had some yesterday. But this should be a little bit different. This is from Caninvi, which is the other distillery that was next door to Bob Benny. Very fruity. Yeah, so this is new spirit. So this is before it's been put into a cask, so we can't call it whiskey. Um, it's got to be in a cask for at least three years to be called whiskey. Oh, this so, is the... Um... So new make, new spirit. Yeah. But Canimvi is really interesting and you don't usually see it bottled no. very often. No. Oh, that's so, quite good. Uh, most yeah. of it goes into making monkey shoulder. Oh, I like monkey shoulder. Yeah, have you had it? Yeah, I yeah. really like it. Yeah. Oh, I really like it as well. It's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mary and I are trying to be serious. Yeah, and doing a whiskey. Right? Are, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, his yeah. waist trousers go down. And they've got to try my pants. <laughs> okay, like, um, this is uh, really exciting. We went to a uh, distillery's uh, yesterday. But we're now uh, having a distillery visit us <laughs> on the campsite and letting us try. Oh my lord, I'm having such a good time! <laughs> All right, well, it was a good night until I found out that Mary dyes her hair. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I still like her. <laughs> um, so this one's a vintage reserve. It doesn't have an age on the bottle because it's a mixture. Um, of whiskies from of different ages. Still a single malt because they're all Glenroth is single malt, but it's from different casks. Um, I think ranging from 1989 through to 2007. Um, so they've their master blender has gone through and selected various casks and picked out ones that he thinks work well together and complement each other. Bit of a spice to it. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. got nice cinnamony, um, mm. woody, spicy yeah, notes. Woody, quite warm, yeah, for but. Sure. Nice and mm. fruity as well. That is nice. Yeah, mm. it's really a bit nice. Fruit, fruit cakey. Yeah, yeah, very. Mm. Mm. Nice and rich. Ooh, that and... is nice. Mm. What was that, Ray? Over on that side, you have civilization. Over on this side of the fire, you have a canoe trip. <laughs> Drying the trousers out. <laughs> Okay, Glen Vintage is one of my favorite whiskies at home in Ontario. Uh, in Ontario, we have LCBO, so basically, you know, you don't have a huge variety, 
Um, and for me to drink right now in the middle of the Spey River, uh, Glenvid is 21 year old. It's beautiful. Right? Like, for me to do that, because for me to buy this in, in Ontario, first of all, I gotta find it. Okay? Oh, it's so smooth. Should we tell him that's not the one he's drinking? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we started off with Glen Rothis. So we're camped just now, just across from Rothis. So this is one of the local distilleries. And we've now moved on to Crag and Moor, which is the distillery closest to your camp last night. So I think you saw the distillery in the distance when mm -hmm. you got off the river yesterday mm -hmm. morning, mm -hmm. ready for your whiskey tours. So Crag and Moor, they use a little bit of peat when they're drying. Um, the malted barley, so it's got a little tiny smoky background to it. It's not very strong, but it's subtly there. Um, I really like Crag and Moor. It's nice and malty um, and quite sweet, but there's a nice fruitiness to it as well. Oh, what do we have here? We have some awesome barley Thank beer you. stew with some beer in it. And Tasty. some bread there to break off too. Thank you very much. He's going into the mug. Yeah. Thank you, Alan. Yum. <laughs> this one is matured in Oloroso sherry casks. So you get a lot of that really rich, mm. chocolatey, like fruit fruity. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. exactly. Um, and these are mm. flavours that you tend to get from sherry casks. Um, and the colour as well, you can see it's really dark, lovely, rich oh, colour. Oh, yes, I like that. Right. Oh. It is, it's like Christmas, Christmas in a glass. Yeah. <laughs> it's tasty. I really mm. like this one, but it is strong. No so, water? Well, I, I prefer it without water. It's got a really lovely oily mouthfeel. It kind of coats your tongue, and I think when you add the water, it kind of breaks that. But but try it, and then you can try it with some water if you want. Ooh. Have you? Nice. Yeah, it would go very well with oh. this. That's a sit by the fire. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. Look yeah, what it's it's a... <laughs> we have a fire. Got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a fire. A little burn. A little bit of burn. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I mean it is that bit stronger. And I mean if you find that a bit too much, then definitely add some water in I it. I like the burn. Yeah, and I think yeah. if, if you roll it around your mouth and don't just swallow it straight away, then you don't get that sh mm. horrible feeling in your throat. So let your throat get ready for it, basically. <laughs> Oh, that makes a difference. Yeah, see, so roll it, yeah. roll it around your mouth, and then you get all the different flavors in your tongue as well. And yet, some people don't like fruitcake. No, I love fruitcake. I do. Uh, Glenfiddich, twenty-one year old. Oh. It's called Grand Reserva. No, it's no, been. Um, I've been waiting for this. Yeah, it's good. It's been matured in rum casks for the last six months. Smell yeah, that lovely oh, kind of yeah. caramel toffee, mm. lovely, nice spiciness as well, like cinnamon. Mm. I really do like this one. I think this is my favourite Glenfiddich. That's my favourite. Yeah, is it? Cool. So loads of distilleries pump water up from the spay um, up to the distillery through their condensers. The water heats up a little bit. They usually let it cool down and then it goes back into the river. And you've been doing this for a long time? Yeah, yeah. I've, only ever worked in whiskey. My first job was a car park attendant at Glenfiddich. <laughs> and so I, I looked after the car park and made the camper vans go park in the camper van bit and the motorbikes park in the motorbike bit and make sure there was no rubbish. Tell the people where to go. <laughs> and I did that when I was 16. It was great fun. I loved it. And, and now you're doing... Yeah, what? yeah. I went to uni and I studied brewing and distilling science and then I went and worked in distilleries. I made vodka for a little while, but it wasn't that much fun. <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> Whiskey's much better. <laughs> Come on, man! Right! It is no longer raining in Scotland! It's, Alan, what's happening? It's hailing! Mm -hmm. Alan's getting some ice for my drink. I guess it's coming down from Scotland! This is um, a cask sample from Glenglassa from 1964. So this is pretty special. It was um, the sample was taken in 2008, so it's 44 years old. Um, 
Glen Glasser. Really? Yeah, yeah. So I used to work there, I ran the site. Mm. I didn't make this one though. No, it's a bit a bit too far back for me, yeah. but um but yeah, I was there when we when we took this sample and Oh my lord, that's it is beautiful. I've Ooh. Glen Glass is a lovely whiskey. The distillery closed down in nineteen eighty six and it reopened mm -hmm. in two thousand and nine. Sorry, it's two thousand and eight. Um, and yeah, it's it's kind of had a bit of a revival and we're now we are now we were selling single malt that we've been producing since it reopened um but there were lots of old stock as well so these were from casks that were still sitting in the warehouse maturing really um, yeah yeah while it had been closed down so yeah I'm, so it's I'm pretty very special honored. yeah no i'm very pretty special yeah gorgeous beautiful whiskey oh, and funny. i really like glen glassa in, in general even the younger ones and it's um always got that really kind of ripe fruity kind of pears apples that sort of thing uh, the one thing I'm, uh, it's like, it's not a, there's not a lot of smell to it. Mm. Maybe compared pear, to some of the, the other pear, ones, yeah. For sure, right? The pear, but. But, but because it's that much older, it's, it's much softer. So, whereas some, with some of the other ones, the younger ones, it's got a lot of lighter aroma still there that haven't had time to evaporate in the casket yeah. so they haven't been in there long enough. Whereas all of those ones that would escape quickly up the glass and hit your nose very quickly are gone with this one because it's so old. So maybe it needs to warm up a little bit more before you get some of the aromas coming up. You have to get your nose right in there, a big sniff. Um, well, that makes a difference. Yeah. You're right. Oh, it's fruity. Re really fruity. Very yeah. fruity. Uh, the thing I liked about Glen Glassa was that, that even the really old ones still had lots of character to them and it wasn't just wood, it wasn't just oak and, and dry mm. and, and woody and, and it's still the spirit had so much character that it stood up to the, the age. So some of the old, mm. the, the nicest old whiskies I've tried are yeah. from Glen Glassa. Did you try it yet, Kevin? I haven't tried it yet, I'm just really enjoying <laughs> smelling it. This is actually where I, 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 I've progressed in my life. Cause it, it, like really where I'm from, I have no money. So I'll get a blend, uh, like for 25 bucks a bottle. And maybe every month or maybe every second month, I'll get a single malt and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But um, if I didn't have my daughter, Kyla, hi Kyla, 12 years old, I wouldn't be going home. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's nice. Yeah. I'm learning so much. Cool, I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad yeah. you are. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Ooh, and the af the aftertaste mm. too. Yeah, it's, and it's like nice. the second hit. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, it's the third hit. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it was lovely. And what's um, happening now? Oh, well, they're leaving. What do you yeah. want to say to them? I love them. <laughs> I actually, uh, I, you know, honestly, seriously, I, 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 I very much love these people. Uh, for them to come out of their own time and share some whiskey and share some food. Say thank you, then. Yes, no, Mary dyes her hair. No, <laughs> <laughs> red hey, Mary, have you ever worn a kilt? I have, yes. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I, does that make up for the dyed hair? Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alan? Real nice, no, yeah. seriously. Good. That was great. Thanks for your trip. Yeah. Canada, anytime. Really I'll say you up. Yeah. Yeah. I've been yeah. really enjoyed your happy camp yeah. stuff. Thank you. Glad you've enjoyed it. Yes. Great fun. I've had a fab time. Good.